Isaiah 53 verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command any evil hand sowing seed of affliction into my life to wither in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take your hands off me. I am not your candidate. I frustrate your activities in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hello, I'm Brother Stephen. Welcome to my channel. I believe you are well and pressing towards the mark. Here on this channel, I bring to you scriptures in bite size on various challenging issues of life with the hope of finding solutions to them through prophetic prayers by the help of the Holy Spirit. If this is your first time on this channel, you are mostly welcome and I love you with the love of God. And to my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. I decree and declare, you will not be specimen for experiment in the laboratory of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord liveth, I command every arrow of migraine, causing untold pain and discomfort in your life, to come out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today I shall be praying with relevant scriptures to tackle the yoke of migraine in the life of people under this affliction. It does not matter how long you have been suffering from this condition, an end has come to it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18 says, Surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. According to medical experts, migraine is not attributed to a single specific cause, but various environmental factors and genetics may play a role. In addition, Many risk factors have been identified, such as family history, aging, emotional anxiety, environmental factors such as changes in weather or altitude, abnormal structures in the brain, imbalance in brain chemicals such as serotonin, hormonal changes in women, certain foods or food addictives can also act as triggers, alcohol consumption, stress, changes in sleep patterns, medications such as contraceptive pills, among others. No matter what may be responsible for this, our God is the Lord, the God of all flesh. Nothing is too difficult for Him to do. I pray for you this hour. Your case shall receive divine intervention from the throne of grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. If you are watching this video and you are yet to give your life to Jesus Christ, now is the time to take that important decision. Tomorrow may be too late because healing is children's bread. Jesus speaking in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door, and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and will sup with him, and he with me. Beloved, your faith is very important as well, if you must receive your divine healing from God. Hebrew 11 verse he says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. More so for effectiveness, you can pray this prayer during the night, at least for one hour, between 1 and 2 a.m. And I pray, your heavens will open and your case will receive divine attention in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now let's begin. Psalm 34 verse 19 Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring an end to this affliction in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit monitoring my green in my life to lose his grip over my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast thy body upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Father, in Jesus' name, he that who have trusted in my flesh to manage this condition, right now, O Lord, take over, heal me and restore my health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 And said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healed thee. Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy upon me. If there is any door I have opened to the devil to afflict me with my grave as a result of my disobedience to your word, O Lord, forgive me and deliver me from this affliction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 3 John 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your power, grant me sound health that will enable me to enjoy the prosperity you have given me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 Who his own self bear our sins in his own body, on the tree, that we being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. 
Father, in Jesus' name, forgive me by your blood of any sin in my life that has opened the door for the enemy to attack me with my grain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 11 verse 24 Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand against whatever may be responsible for pain on one or both sides of my head, in Jesus' name. O Lord, let every troubling or pulsating pain disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By your power, let every sensitivity to light, sound, smell, and touch come to an end in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Father, by your power, I stand against every manifestation of migraine in my body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, by your power, I command every blood vision, eye pain, lightheadedness, dizziness, weakness or fatigue to disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 31 29 In those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand against any family pattern manifesting in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By your power, I cut off any link to family history of my grain in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject confusion, mood swing, changes in sensation and hearing, and difficulty in speaking in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 21 For the drunkard and the gluten shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Father, in Jesus' name, I stand against every spirit of gluttony, causing uncontrollable appetite for what I should stay away from. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I stand against emotional anxiety, alcohol consumption, stress, changes in sleep patterns, and hormonal changes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17a For I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, heal me by your power and restore my health, so I will be more relevant in kingdom advance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nahum chapter 1 verse 9 what do ye imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my healing and deliverance. You spirit of my dream, the Lord rebuke you. You will no longer find your way into my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil flow of my dream from my ancestor into my life, I command you to dry up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for my healing. Thank you for setting me free. Because it is written, if the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I appreciate you, Lord, and affliction shall not rise up the second time in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do me a massive favor and subscribe, share, comment and thumb up. As you do, the Lord will exalt you beyond your widest imagination, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, beloved, for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Remain blessed.